Okay, so a guy that I've had a crush on forever slid in my DMs and asked if I wanted to get dinner with him. It's interesting. It's an interesting, interesting uh, phenomenon is what it is. That's a damn phenomenon. You blew it. Yes, the whole entire date. That includes my Uber to the date and my Uber back to my house. Be by both what bean stock you mom from? You blew it. It's about men, but single mom version. If you invite me out for a dinner or drinks, especially during the weeknight, I have a child to take care of. Don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. This is something else. Hello everyone, welcome back to another short video here today and we have a few clips we're going to go over here and let me just be honest with you fellas for a moment. If you're going to plan on taking a woman out on a date, look, there's just certain things you got to do. You have to pay for the childcare, you have to pay for the, the kids, the, the meals to take home, you have to pay for the Ubers, you have to pay for her nails and her uh, lashes, you have to pay for her BBL and you also have to pay her mortgage. These are all things you have to do to take a woman out on a first date. I don't make the rules. I wish I did. If I made the rules, that they wouldn't be it. But that's the rules today in dating. So unless you can, unless you can do all that, don't bother dating any of these high value women we're about to go across today. And we're going to go through them and we're going to see exactly why they're in the situation they're in. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, get a snack. And again, my name is Rat Boy, and let's get into it. Okay, so a guy that I've had a crush on forever slid in my DMs and asked if I wanted to get dinner with him. And I was, oh my God, I was so excited. So I told all my friends and they were so excited for me. I mean, like this, everyone, everyone this is just a super popular guy and everyone likes him. He's so cute, so nice. I could not believe that this guy was like cold open asking me on a date, but I was- Okay, let me just stop it right here and then I'll let the rest of the clip finish. But I just wanna, want you to see this woman here on the screen, okay? Attractive, sure. The fact that she's telling her friends even before the date that she's going out on a date, it kind of tells me the type of man this guy is. So this is a guy that probably a lot of the women want. He probably has a roster of 10 or 11 women already. And so she is just overjoyed that she's about to be a part of his roster. So let's continue with the clip. I was so excited. I was like, well, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to show up. So I get ready. I show up to the restaurant. He's already there. I asked where he was sitting and then I, I couldn't find him anywhere. And I look around. I see him sitting in the corner at a table with another girl. So I, what do you do? I don't know what to do. And I was like, oh, maybe it's definitely just like, I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, I don't know why I'm trying to narrate what I was thinking. I just walked over to the table and he was like, hey, this is my friend. And I was like, okay. Like, I thought maybe she was just, I don't know, passing by. Nope. So I sit down at this table and he's like, how are you? And I'm like, good. How are you guys? Plural. He was like, oh, we're good. And then he starts just talking to her. Doesn't give me any intro, any explanation. I'm confused. I really at this point still thought that maybe she was just like walking by and like happened to know him. But also she was like very comfortable in her seat. She also, then she ordered a drink. She ordered a drink. So I was like, oh my God, I'm, are, is this like a two on one? Here is the funniest part about this whole clip, and I'm going to let the rest of the clip finish after this, but the amount of cope in this clip is crazy. The fact that she actually stood around and actually continued with the date, and, well, you'll, you'll see the end of what happened, but uh, this entire clip is crazy to me. When I, watched, when I first originally kind of watched the first part of this, I thought it was like a joke. I thought it was just satire you know because a lot of people make clips like this but no this woman i went through her tiktok she is this is 100 percent real let's continue are we like on the bachelor right now imagine a guy you really like asks you on a date and you show up and he's also on a date with another girl at the same time <laughs> what do you do i don't know what to do and it's not even like it was like a group like thing because she wasn't talking to me at all yeah, I know. I'm mad too. <laughs> the waiter comes and asks what we want to eat. And I was like, this is definitely her cue. Like she definitely has somewhere more important to be. Nope. Nope. She orders an entree. So the three of us go on a date. We're on a date together. And the entire, I was 
literally in shock like I didn't know and I started gaslighting myself I was like wait why did I think this is a date like it's definitely just a fun group thing but what kind of fun group thing is that when neither of them are really even talking to me neither of them are even talking to me so and also a single guy asking a single girl to get dinner with her isn't that isn't that a date right I don't know that's a date so now it's time to leave and I mean I feel like I did not say four words to this guy but he asked if I wanted to ride home and I was like yeah sure I'm down we get in the car and he kisses me. So what are, what are, what is this? Was that a date? I don't know. I was in shock. I don't even know why I let him kiss me when I went, that was the weirdest thing I've ever done. After, he texted me and asked me what I thought about his Instagram. And I was like, it's a guy's Instagram. What do you want me to say? And he was like, no, I mean like, I've been thinking about hiring someone to run my Instagram. And I was like, so that was a group interview to win a job, I guess, and someone to make out with. Why did he make out with me if he was trying to hire me? For like 10 minutes, by the way. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was the end of that clip, and I just want to add a few things here. For one thing, they didn't just make out. He took her upstairs. They had nighttime fun. That's how it always happens with these dudes. He could have had five women sitting at that table, and she would have still sat down and had dinner with all of them. Let's just be real, okay? These women would rather share the top 1% of men than to get a man of their own. And you can see this all across social media. And they brag about it. They literally brag you know because valentine's day was was a week ago or so they literally brag about being a side chick and then complain that oh well he's not doing enough but you're bragging about it online you cannot make any of this up you, you can't uh it's actually impossible to write a script as messed up as some of these videos are that i'm finding on tiktok it is insane but yeah so you know she went out on the date couple's date whatever you know, they ended up hooking up at the end of the date, probably a few times. She probably didn't leave until the morning. And um, here's the thing. She said he kissed her, but like, I, I kind of think two people have to kiss each other. It's not really like you can't just walk up to somebody and kiss them. You know, it's, it's a mutual thing. So she decided to kiss him even after the whole embarrassing date thing. So, yeah, th th this is the, these are the type of women that are going to be online that you get to choose from. So good luck, fellas. I say don't online date. And just uh, work on yourself. Go to the gym. Do do you. You know, you're going to be a lot happier by yourself than trying to fight for these uh, scraps that, that you find uh, laying around Tinder and whatnot. But let's go ahead and let's get into this next clip, which is even equally as wild. I expect a man to pay for the date. Yes, the whole entire date. That includes my Uber to the date and my Uber back to my house. If you are a man that I'm interested in, I want to see that you can provide for me. I want to see that you can afford an Uber ride. I want to see that you can afford a nice dinner date. Like, can you afford basic things? Because if you can't afford dinner in an Uber, my transportation, you certainly can't afford kids. You certainly can't afford a house. You certainly can't afford my bills. And I got bills to pay. Okay? Wow, that was a short clip. Um, so, fellas, look, hey. Slow down. Let's not all rush to the to, uh, you know, her DMs right now. OK, just take your time. Let's think about this. If you can't pay for her house, then don't date her, dude. Like, duh. I mean, is this not common sense for everybody? Else? If you can't pay for the Uber, then how do you expect to pay for a house? You know, does that seem like common sense to you or just some sort of like money grab? So, you know, they they, they want the date. They want the date to be paid for, which is fine. You know, if a guy asks a woman out on a date. Sure, pay for the date. I've, I've always paid for dates. If I take a woman out on a date, I'm going to pay. I'm going to offer to pay, you know. Um, however, I've never been put in a situation where the woman's like, oh, you're going to pay or this, that kind of attitude that that'll get me to walk out really quick. A, a lot of guys will just walk away from a situation like that. And I don't blame them. It's just a bad situation all around. But for you to expect a guy to Uber you back and forth and pay your bills when you looking like uh, precious, it, it, it ain't gonna happen. Like she is hitting way above her belt. She, she's, the thing is women like that will put their standards so high because they know that they have nothing to offer. That's literally what, what, this, the, what that clip is. So she's, uh, she's, she's just breaking her heart before it even happens. And it's just really sad to see. She could possibly, you know, work on herself, get in better shape, 
do something with her hair and possibly be more attractive than she is now, but she doesn't want to. And, and that's okay. You know, n- you know, guys don't have to date her and, and that's okay too. Let's go ahead and watch this next clip. And, uh, this one is even more wild. If you can believe that, if, if you can believe that this last clip is more wild than the first two we watched, then you can believe anything. Let's get into it. It's about men, but single mom version. If you invite me out for a dinner or drinks, especially during the weeknight, I have a child to take care of. Don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. Okay, there you go. And (laughs) that was also a short clip, but let's go ahead and break this down because this is really wild and single mothers do this all the time. If you want to take a single mother out, you got to pay for the childcare. Bottom line, you have to pay for it or else they can't go out. You know what I say? I say, okay, stay home. Stay at the house. Like, why are you trying to date? You're a single mom. Take care of your kids. If you can't even get a babysitter, if you, a strong, independent woman, cannot find someone to watch your, your, your crotch goblin, then why are you trying to date? Why are you on a dating app? None of this stuff makes any sense to me. It's literally the it, It's bad. Like, it's really, really bad. But let me know what you guys think. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'm doing daily videos right now. I'm putting up a video every single day. So if you're watching videos and you're not subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe because you're going to get a video every single day. And I'm a one man operation. Okay. I'm doing all this by myself. So it would really help if I got that support. Give me inspiration to make more videos like this. But again, my name is Ratboy and I am out.